The hot weather didn't keep Larry Scott and his dog Sandy from a run along Mingo Trail on Monday. We get our exercise in a couple of days a week. But he's keeping an eye on Sandy. But the ponds are full of some kind of algae. It's just a real thick overgrowth. Tulsa City crews are monitoring ponds across the city for algae blooms. The dissolved oxygen in the, in the, uh, in the pH is really uh, important to us. It kind of tells us what's going on. Today's pH level in Nelson Pond checks in at 9.3. Well, a normal level in pH is between, between 6 and 9. With the heavy algae content that we've had in the water before, we've had a lot higher readings than that, up to 10s, 11s. This blue-green algae is sucking off the oxygen in these ponds, resulting in fish kills. But city crews are working to prevent these algae blooms. It actually includes all the map and everything right in here. Scott Van Lu with Public Works says Nelson Pond has been treated and monitored. The fact that we're uh, low on rain, uh, rainfall count is down, and the con weather conditions and wind conditions are low, and the heat is pretty high, as we all know. It's uh, created the perfect conditions. He says runoff from chemicals like fertilizer trickle into the ponds and feed the algae. We can and probably will see additional fish kills and throughout the summertime, but we'll get in there and clean them up, and we're going to continue to educate the public. Officials urge you to be careful anytime you see what looks like blue-green algae in a pond. Exposure can be dangerous. That's why Scott is double-checking the water before he lets Sandy near it. So I keep her away from the, from the retention pond. The creek, okay, you know, but ponds, no way. Sarah Goldenberg, 2 News, works for you.